Welcome everybody to How Fast Will It Go and today we're dealing with the 2017 Ford GT now this has a 1,515 horsepower 1,101 pounds feet of torque 7 litre twin turbo charge V12 and the car itself weighs 2,585 pounds and yeah it can do not to 16 2.792 seconds and not to 104.691 seconds so yeah hugely hugely powerful car and uh, yeah really rather modern as well in terms of aerodynamics and uh, not having all that much weight so yeah I'm fully expecting to be uh, this car to be quick should be able to go 270 mile an hour or more and uh, yeah let's see what it can do still rear wheel drive but that only really uh, hinders the launch doesn't really matter at the top end especially considering this car has more than enough grip it doesn't weigh all that much, it's a sluggish in terms of turning even. We're already up to 260. To 70. It's hugely quick getting up to that top speed there. This car is no slouch. We're going to get more than 273. We're on the downhill section we've got 274 there. But Personally, it's down to gravity and not, you know, the engine's power itself. Well, mm, yeah, I guess you can say that it can do 274 mile an hour because it was holding it on the flat bits, so it wasn't just down the downhill parts either. Just took a little bit more encouraging. So yeah, 274 mile an hour. So yeah, that obviously puts it in line with the. Uh, Jaguar XJ220, which considering that car's 24 years older than this one, that's uh, pretty remarkable that they're both the same kind of uh, speed. And uh, yeah, it's also quicker than the Lamborghini Centenario and the Audi R8 V10, and way quicker than the previous car in the episode in this series of Pagani Wire BC at 267 mile an hour. So yeah, cracking car, and you saw how quickly it went up to that speed, so I think it's even better than the Jaguar XJ220 in that regard. Plus, I think it handles better, and I'm pretty sure it was lighter than that as well. So, uh, yeah, I think we found one of the easily one of the best cars in the game in terms of uh, putting in the most power you can put in a car. Because, uh, yeah, handled it really well, got up to the speed really quickly, and yeah, uh, yeah, no troubles in, in terms of holding the speed and dodging the traffic either. So, uh, yeah, 10 out of 10 car, quite frankly. Anyway, thanks for watching, and I'll see you in the next one. Bye.